Our sensory experience with the aromas of foods greatly influences the experience of eating. Certain smells and tastes are particular to different cultures because of the plants that they use in their cuisine, either locally grown or harvested, or acquired via trade routes. Spices can be particularly important to the taste experience because of their rich content in volatile organic plant compounds. Spices, herbs, and condiments each refer to distinct types of ingredients. In general, any dried preparation of a plant food ingredient which has pungent properties is considered a spice. Many of these ingredients come from the tropical or subtropical regions where they may also be consumed in fresh form. The drying of spices is a historic practice developed not only to preserve the spices for use throughout the year in the locations where they are harvested, but also to preserve them for transportation across vast land and sea trade routes. Culinary herbs, on the other hand, refers to aromatic leaves and seeds of non-woody temperate plants, while condiments are mixtures of many ingredients that have strong organoleptic qualities. Spices contain marked organoleptic qualities that signal the presence of allelochemicals, or plant secondary metabolites. These are the compounds that plants produce for the purposes of communication, defense, and engagement with other organisms in their environment. Such allelochemicals have been bred out of many cultivated food plants via agricultural methods, but retained in spice plants, which are valued for their distinctive flavors and scents. For example, compare a spice like the chili pepper to a food crop like the potato. The potato is eaten in larger quantities as an energy source, whereas the chili pepper is eaten in much smaller quantities for flavoring. The human head is full of specialized nerves that control some of our major senses and our intricate facial movements. The trigeminal nerve is responsible for key functions like biting and chewing, while the corda tympani is responsible for taste sensations. If you've ever had a stuffy nose, you may have noticed that your sense of taste was greatly dampened. This is because our sensations of the chemistry of food relies not only on our taste buds, but also on our ability to detect chemistries through smell. Spices and herbs often function as both a food and a medicine, and as a result, they occupy a unique place along the food medicine continuum. Examples of this concept of a blurred line between food and medicine can be found in the history of medicine. For example, the Hippocratic authors of ancient Greece knew that everyday foods could yield important health benefits and that they could be used in non-dietary ways, closer in resemblance to a pharmacological intervention. The utility and purpose of certain ingredients changes, though, depending on the specific situation of the person consuming it. Garlic is just one example of a dietary ingredient from antiquity that has been used in this way. In modern times, we need only look to the practices of mothers providing home health care to children. They may feed their children bananas as a snack food, or a food, or they may use the bananas to specifically treat a mild case of diarrhea as a food medicine. There are certain botanical families that tend to be very rich in culinary herbs and spices. Here I've presented these using their common names. In future lessons, we'll cover more on the scientific names, chemical makeup, and pharmacological activities of these tasty ingredients. If you've ever noticed the similarities in flavor between oregano and thyme, or perhaps parsley and celery, it's no accident. As this course progresses, we will explore how the unique chemistry of plants is tied to their phylogenetic relationships, such as in the family names that are represented here. Differences in flavors from species to species is closely related groups sometimes comes down to small differences in which plant secondary metabolites are present, or even the relative abundance of certain volatile aromatic compounds in the plant tissue. 
Now it's time to explore. Use your own sensory tools of taste and smell to explore the similarities and differences noted in ingredients that you can find in your kitchen spice cabinet. Have fun with it. Work with a friend to get out unlabeled samples of different spices. See how many you can recognize by sight, smell, or taste. Group them together based on shared organoleptic qualities to see how many you can match to the correct plant family group.